Hi everyone and welcome back to Watch Me Cook. Today we're going to make waffle stuffings or any other food items that you can make out of your little waffle iron. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Now what I'm doing here is super easy. All you need is two to three cups of cooked stuffing. Use the box kinds, use leftovers, use whatever it is that you have on hand. And two eggs. Also making sure you have your cooking oil spray. You need the spray kind and whatever waffle iron it is that you have. I am making this with my daughter in the kitchen, so bear with me for just a minute. She loves to crack eggs. I'm just going to let her crack the eggs because whatever she gets to do, she gets to try and eat and she loves it. So we just go with it. All right, so to begin, all we need again is two to three cups of your cooked stuffing with two eggs that is cracked right into the bowl. Make sure you have something you can mix this with really well because it's going to get really sticky. So I'm going to be using plastic gloves in my case. If you guys don't want to use plastic gloves or you have a spoon or a fork or whatever utensil it is that you want to use, that's fine. Whatever works for you works. But the only thing is you want to make sure this is well combined. I'm talking mix this up as well as you possibly can because otherwise you could end up having like little chunks of egg inside of your stuffing waffles and that's not what we're trying to do. All the egg is doing is help binding the stuffing so it doesn't come apart and fall loose. And so you want to make sure again, well combined, mix it nicely, and then we're going to start throwing these right into the waffle iron. It's that easy. So over the holidays, my daughter received one of these tiny little waffle makers, and it is perfect for your portioning out any kind of meal. I mean, we didn't think of it that way, but we are nuts over stuffing. So having this really helped portion everything out, and it worked well for us. Now you do not have to have this particular kind of waffle iron. You can use whatever it is that you have on hand. Any of them will work. So all you want to do, like I had shown you in the picture or in the video actually, the quarter cup of measuring cup, that's what worked for this particular size right here. Uh, if you have a larger one, you want to adjust the sizing. You'll figure that out as you go along with the waffle iron maker. Also make sure you go with the temperature that goes along with your waffle iron. In my case, this one here, the light turns on while it's cooking, and when it's done cooking, the light will turn off. So every waffle maker is different. Make sure you just follow the instructions per, per your machine. Now, as you can see here, we did our first one, and I just grabbed it with tongs because I don't want to touch anything that's too hot on my fingers. And this actually made us about, I believe, seven, two and a half cups of stuffing is what I believe we measured out, but made seven individual size stuffing. And every time you make this, you want to make sure you spray down your waffle iron first and then put your stuffing on top and let it cook and do the same thing over and over and over again. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but there's a lot of things that you can make with the waffle iron. I've done eggs before in the past. I don't have a recipe yet for that, but I, maybe I'll do that later. I don't know. We also decided to try tater tots. So these would be tater tot hash browns. I would highly recommend defrosting the tater tots first because otherwise it takes way too long to cook, but it does cook. Mine were frozen and hard and I threw them in there just to see what would happen and ended up having to push down a little bit harder. But it works, the tater tots. Look at that, tater tot hash browns. How easy was that? Same method, all you wanna do is just spray it, just put the amount of tater tots that'll fit inside of your waffle iron and then cook it until whatever the instructions for the heating time is for your particular appliance. Of course, I started to get more creative with this thing and I wanted to see what else would work for us. So, besides the hash browns, tater tot hash browns, and by the way, this is how we ended up having our dinner here. You're gonna see the little stuffing there. I grabbed some rotisserie chicken from the store, threw some mashed potatoes on there and some gravy, and that was an easy dinner. But for dessert, here we go, look at this. We made s'mores. I didn't make the batter for that, I just got the Eggo chocolate chip kind of waffles, and then I threw some chocolate and some marshmallows on there, and then just boil or broil the marshmallows if you'd like, just to soften them up, and that's it. You just made a whole entire meal here. I hope you guys like these recipes, I hope this helps you out, and if you guys did, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it, and until the next meal, thank you for watching, watch me cook. 